Hello, viewers. We are in this uh, this next session of Seeking the Hidden Realms. Um, and we have a map that you're not going to get to see. So there. <laughs> That's, that is all for now. Um, and you know what? I can't remember what the initiative order was the last time we played. So if I could get you guys to just roll a new initiative. Yeah. Silvu play. For sure. Silvu play. Silvu plays. Do I have advantage on this? No, just a plus five. Uh, just a plus five. Just a plus five. Just a plus. I, 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 I was making a joke and then I looked and I thought mine is also plus five. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's Woo! just from the feet. I got an 18. <coughs> An 18 from Luga. Oh, you, right. Alert. 25. Oh, oh my god. Oh my yeah. god. Oh, wow. Doesn't mean much oh, for initiative. Nope. I can't roll like that. <laughs> it's bad. Okay. Gorbin is looking at a pretty seven. Good job, Gorbin. Yeah. Um, let's 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 do one for this this sea serpent. Oh, that's what it is. Um, yeah, it's the sea serpent. Sea sir, so I must be in the sea. You are, you are in fact in the sea. Yeah. Um, Which sea? I wonder yeah, where that I is am. the question. Only a plus one to that, but still, you know. Uh, who else needs to roll? I don't think we do need to make any other rolls. Um, Thorgrog and Merlin will be uh, controlled by me until such time uh as uh carrie arrives to play pure york and merlin uh oh is carrie gonna carrie will join us in a, a, a bit of a oh, half an hour the, the, the screening i know the red cotton red cotton screening indeed um and they will go after everybody else in initiative so uh we are going to Start with Susie. Susie. Yes, that's me. Um, you, sound, you sound different, Susie. You sound different. I am. You sound uh, like a small. I'm a little bulb. Uh, <laughs> and I've got a flower, a psychic flower, and an egg. Yeah, and an egg that you're carrying like a baby on your hip. <clears throat> Alrighty then, let's try and get back into this. That was pretty great. That oh, was thank amazing. You. That was nearly a, a Matthew McConaughey alrighty. <laughs> oh no. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, alright, alright. Right. Right. <laughs> keep get oh his no, he's, he's, he's very good in that it's just a terrible character. Yes. Truly an awful character. Like as a you know, a good character but a bad character person if they you know you know what i mean yes um you know it's me so it's you um the situation remains thus you could see different colored portals leading out of this space um you could you knew that uh the splicer went through this red one uh and the pure group has come back out uh very quickly uh Hellebor has uh, saved me from the splicer. My, forgive my accent, it's terrible. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, terrible. And we shouldn't go through this one. Um. All right, where uh, did we hear Chesh's voice? No, just you, Merlin heard that. You can't. You you have heard Chesh's voice. You know that Chesh has, uh, or Merlin rather, has gone through the green one. All right. Um. Gorbin is up. I don't think Gorbin has very many hit points. I think probably just one. Um, <laughs> just one hit point for Gorbin. Okay. Uh, and Gorbin's, but Gorbin is very big and strong and has Jamie. He's got one more hit point than Jamie does. <laughs> it's true. Jamie is very dead. <laughs> um, um, I don't know who else has healing potions, but not me. And I was holding on to them, so I think we may have... I think oh. maybe, like, I think I handed some out, and then... 
Um, but I do have syringe of temp HP. Can I, like, just object interaction hand the syringe of temp HP? I will allow that, yes. Thank you. So Corbin's got one of those. Cool. So it's, that's 2d12 of temp HP. Oh, I love that. Mm. That was from the mushrooms, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 Synthesized from the mushrooms. Yep. Um, yeah, we tried to raise up Jamie, didn't we, and couldn't do anything? No, unfortunately not. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yes. Is there anything that you were curious about? Is there anywhere that you want to go? Tell me what you are trying to achieve uh, in this moment. I would follow after Merlin here. Fantastic. Uh, um, but I would... May I delay my like delay my turn, like move it down the turn order so that I get like movement action bonus action um until these guys are through and like usher these guys through the like, to follow after Merlin? What I will what I will say is you're at the top of the initiative, so uh, and they are going last, so you can simply hold an action for this turn and then just take your next turn, if you would like. So, like, yes, usher them through, and then it will be your turn again, at initiative. Okay, and what I'll do is, uh, I will hold, uh, shooting. Yep. I will hold an attack action for if anyone comes through who seems to be an enemy. Beautiful. Uh, that is done. Uh... Next in the initiative quarter is this young sea serpent. Uh, <laughs> who I haven't spotted yet. Who uh to be fair, if you if you want to go unseen, you may make a stealth check. I will allow such a thing. Against the passive perception of this young serpent. No, because I don't Luga's just come through this portal. Yeah. And like, oh, okay, we're underwater. I have no reason to immediately, like, hide. Yeah. I haven't even looked around yet. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. I think at this point, this thing catches your scent. Um, oh, no. And we'll go 30, 35, 40. And just... Oh, hello. <laughs> uh, and you see, yeah, to your eye, just this uh, massive sort of serpent with um, just a sort of an elongated sort of long face with teeth as his mouth uh, opens up. Uh, sort of red fins crest uh, its head and its eyes are sort of this like milked over yellow color. Um as you're ugly. sort of holding, yeah, this this thing, this thing it's is ugly. ugly. Uh, this thing's gonna try to bite you. Oh, it's gonna go ahead and uh, does an eleven hit? <laughs> no, no. Um, and as it sort of uh passes you by, we'll make a tail attack as it does sort of a. <laughs> uh, ten does not hit either. As this no. thing sort of just like, vroom, um. You come through. You're uh, hot and fresh from the battle. You have you're you're all over this. Yeah, this thing absolutely just misses you. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> um. So that's your situation. You are there with a Leviathan underwater. You are holding your breath. Aragiri yes. can hold their breath for a very long time. So not, not necessarily a problem. No. Um, do I recognize this creature at all? Uh, <clears throat> roll me, roll me a nature or history check if you'd be so kind. Y yeah, why not? Yeah, let's why? do let's do nature. Yeah, do you want to scooch in a bit? Scooch in. Yeah. Uh, dirty twenty. Ooh. A dirty twenty. Dirty um, twenty. A plus one. Mm -hmm. A on a dirty twenty, I think. It, which which is this history or nature? So this was nature. Nature, um, fantastic. Yes, these rarely venture far north, like to Kralioa, which which is where you are, uh, which is where you're from, sort of the the tundra continent. Mm -hmm. Um, but these, uh, 
you you do know what these are. Um, these are some of the serpents that that sort of like are uh, bred in the shallows, uh, sort of near more temperate isle climates uh, on Rayara. I'm still on Rayara. You're still okay. on Rayara. This is interesting. Uh, and then when they get older, they sort of go into the deeper ocean. Yeah, yeah. And become leviathans. Okay. Well, this was a. Uh, I mean, not. It's not really a welcoming because I haven't left planet. But this was a rude hello. So I'm going to say hello back, Luga style. Luga style. That Luga is Luga style. That is absolutely your turn. Let's go for a big old swing with the battle axe. Um, no, I don't want to. Yeah, no, yeah, we'll do with that battle axe. Uh, that is, as we say, cucked. <laughs> Indeed, that is how we say that. Uh, 26? 26 to hit? Yeah. I mean, yes, yes, that hits. Yeah. <laughs> But it wasn't wasn't a crit. That sucks. Okay, um, so that is doo -doo 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 -doo. which one is the? No. Uh, is it this one? Two. No. Uh, this one. <laughs> For fourteen damage. For fourteen damage, uh, you. Yeah, like carve into this thing as it passes you by with your axe. Yeah. Um, and this thing, just the underwater equivalent of screaming in pain, just writhes uh, in agony. And, uh, and you, like, you can see it's destroying boulders and uh, uprooting kelp and uh, things, and the water becomes murky and muddy. Uh, as as this thing writhes, as its sort of green, dark blood mixes with everything. This thing is a siege monster. It's destroying stuff around okay. you. Well, this is this is bad for me, so I'm going to hit it again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be in this area. <laughs> um, that's a natural one. Uh, incredible. Uh, I'm going to say... Uh, that, that everything being kicked up has rendered you temporarily uh, blind. Uh, just, just like, in this moment, yeah, you yeah. get silt and blood in your eyes uh, as this thing sort of, like, wriggles out of reach of you. Mm -hmm. And that'll, that'll, um, that'll do for now. Wonderful. Uh, you are engaged in that conflict. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, we've got Carrie already. <laughs> this is amazing. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Looking snazzy. Very snazzy. Very speedy quick. I got a cab from the station. <laughs> so I am literally... And then they dropped me off at the wrong end of the road. So I ran here. <laughs> and then people left the post outside of the door so i had to run i i'm okay i'm okay <laughs> no need to panic no need to rush take your time all is well well i'm here i i'm i am ready i've got that ready god it's been it's been a whirlwind like <laughs> oh. <sighs> we haven't started have we have you started we just started okay cool hello everyone oh, hi <laughs> it hasn't even reached borgie's turn in combat no, actually not. Um, Absolutely not. Would you like to roll initiative? Yes, please. <laughs> oh my gosh. Take right. your time and roll initiative. <laughs> well, I rolled a nat one, so... Glorious. Does <laughs> not so, change where you were going to be. Um, so that would be three total. Oh, three. That does... No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Classic. <laughs> Um, oh my god, also guys, before we continue, look at these nails. Ooh, oh, beautiful. nails! I got them done today. I was like, go hard or go home. Anyway. Just... Yeah. How was the movie? The movie? It's a lot to unpack. In a, in a sort of good way. Are you live streaming right now? No, no I'm just, just recording. recording. 
We can cut this if you want. Okay, if that's cool. not too much editing. Um, it's you. fine. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, yeah, maybe it's good. Um, I think the reason I was a bit skewy to start off with is because I wasn't completely sure whether the main character we were supposed to like or not. So, and mm. it wasn't really until I clocked about like halfway through. Oh, she is an asshole. Um, yeah. But that probably maybe with a neurotypical person, maybe it's clearer to other people. Um, yeah, no, I really did not expect that to happen. I was literally gonna like do the questions and then fuck off. But then, do you know Jack Howard, Daniel J. Layton, that clique from YouTube? No. Um, I've I've like since I started be like watching YouTube, I've been watching them. So I knew that they were there. So I tried to find them, and then we started. And then it turns out they remembered me from when I met them previously. And I was like, "What? You remember me?" Um, it was like a one-off, like maybe two-minute conversation. <laughs> what? Um, and then they were like, "Oh, are you seeing it?" And I'm like, "Oh no, I haven't got, I haven't got an invite. So I was just gonna go home." And then they just gave me a spare invite that they had. Oh, like, amazing! <laughs> <laughs> um, and then uh, yeah. So when I saw that you guys were starting, I was like, "Oh my god, yes!" I Run! <laughs> <laughs> um, Glad to have been... you. <laughs> yes, I'm sorry that I probably mucked you around. Um, Not at all. Not at all. With plans, so no. It's all good. I had some stuff to do today. It gave me... we we decided it... to start late because Kieran wouldn't be here until. 10 30 and it gave me a chance to get a lot more work done on me my too. mom's website okay yeah i earned money because of you i earned more money so there i'm i'm happy to oblige <laughs> <laughs> let's 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 fight shall we yeah you got the map you're all good no it's not loaded it's not loaded am i clicking on the wrong out there like oh the new I've new one? It. I've refreshed it. Yeah. There we go, I'm here. Beautiful. Booty. Right. There's Merlin. Where am I again? I'm there. Cool. Yes. Um, and on my turn, I have ushered... Uh, been, I've ushered all of you through the, the green orb, because that was the direction Merlin went. Okay. <clears throat> um, Sweet. Yes. So Susie's saying to everybody to go through that orb. Um, Luca's fighting a sea serpent, and yep. we come to Gorbin's turn. Gorbin is going to uh, bonus action action syringe to get some temp HP. Syringe. The temp the syringe of temp HP from the mushrooms. We still had a few. Yes. Gets eleven temp HP. Nice. Very nice. Uh, thank you for that. Um, oh, sorry. Thank you for that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Gorman is... <laughs> I'm still big. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> thanks, Susie. You really well. <laughs> thanks. There's something familiar about this portal. I... Okay. Goes through. You just hear from the other side, Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Is that a good fuck or a bad fuck? Ah, uh, bad fuck! Should we still come through? Come on. I'm coming you after can, you. You can come through. It's just a bad place. Where did Hellebore go? Hellebore's, you let, Hellebore's there. Like, Hellebore's back but through that red portal. Oh just, oh, just somewhere else. Great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, cool. Cool. That is Gorbin's turn. And then Pyrgyorg. That is your turn. Pyrgyorg. Um, okay, cool. So, I... How much how many hit points? Oh, I do not have many. Um Okay. <laughs> I've got you at I've got I've got eleven. I have you at twenty six. Are you at eleven? Maybe I just didn't update it. Eleven. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Why was I honest? <laughs> um Okay, so I have thirty five speed. One, two, three. And I'm gonna go through the portal. Mm -hmm. Can you put me somewhere that Blunk. I would fairly end up being? That's where you end up um, being. Um, how many squares was you that? Stopped that was in the doorway, 15. Porgy. <laughs> Hang on, I'm just trying to. Okay, I've got an additional six. Um, 
who's the thing Merlin's fighting? That's not that's, that's a dead a, body. That's a dead body. Oh, great. You see Merlin finish rifling through the pockets with just like such ease. <laughs> okay. Um Well, I'll just get out the way. Um is there anything I can do to heal? <laughs> Um, I mean, um, I've got, I mean, I'm pretty sure Merlin's got some potions or something. Merlin, can I please have something? Mer Mer Merlin, uh, on her turn, will give you stuff. Thank you. <laughs> um, I, d I don't know what else would be reasonable for me to do, so I'm just going to vibe. That's the end of my turn. Yeah? Is there is there anything you want to... Like, do you want to check out the area? Do you want to try to, like, figure out a little bit more about, like, what's going on here? Oh, yeah, that would make uh, a lot of sense. Um, yeah, let's do a perception check. Yeah, go ahead, give me, give me, give me perception. Perception. Disgrace. <laughs> it's a, as plain as the sky. <laughs> um, so I rolled a four, so that's a total of seven. Seven. Uh, my god, it's cold. You step through this portal, and you are used to the warm summers and the mild winters of Urzalen. The, the fires of the bakery. Fires of the bakery, the ovens blasting. You step into... You You actually haven't known a cold like this. Um, you didn't know it could get this cold. Uh... And you're stepping on ice that is cracking and beneath you, you imagine should be water, but instead this this strange sort of chaotic magic stretches out. You see like an expanse of stars and like dimensions unfolding and portals to different worlds expanding. Mm. Uh, but that is all that you get on a seven. Do I it's... have nerve endings in my hooves? I believe that that's accurate. I don't know the anatomy of goats. Uh, <laughs> Google check. <laughs> I think it's like I think it's like a growing bone, essentially. Uh, to be could... more about the vibrations of it, that would affect my nerves. Like an echolocation pain. <laughs> You just feel numbness through your feet, I think. Okay. It, it looks like... Yeah, there's no nerve endings on the, the part that's touching the ground. Like, there's mm -hmm. nerve endings between it. Like, in a, like, a fingernail doesn't have nerve endings, but the fingernail bed does. Right. Okay, cool. Um, Other, otherwise, if, if hooves had nerve endings and yeah, horse horses. shoes were yeah. a thing... Yeah. yeah. It, it seems... It seems like evolutionarily like it beneficial would... yeah yeah <laughs> plus it would really suck every time you cut your nails yeah yeah, like, yeah. yeah. that would be bad yeah that would today's be bad. nail appointment would have gone very sour <laughs> <laughs> um okay so i'm very cold so can we please leave when susie gets here i'm all about that uh this is this is where I grew up. This is where I lived until I became chaos magic y. Really? Yeah. How did you do it? We're sort of developed for the cold. You can see that Gorbin doesn't look cold, he just looks unhappy to be here. Same babe, same. <laughs> I wonder but... what happened over there. That guy that guy's sort of cut into pieces. Let's not <laughs> ask questions. Let's wait for Susie. Um, next up is Merlin. Merlin is going to toss you, uh, the two healing potions that Merlin has, uh, as well as a temp HP syringe. So just, that's just, just a- one is fine. Just I'm... tossing all of that to you. Um, oh, I'll, I'll just yep, one lotion, but no, thanks. All three. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's like that thing sometimes people, I think it's an autistic thing, would be like, oh, can you just pass me a bit of loo roll? And then I should give them the entire loo roll because I don't know what a bit of loo roll means, so I just give it all. Oh, <laughs> everyone has different views on how much. Nah, you gotta how offer the whole thing. Too, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Loo roll and food, you know, anything. Cool, I thought I was special in thinking this. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> You're special to me. <laughs> no, I was kidding. Um, I know. Cool. 
so yay, healing. What uh, what do I roll? Uh, you you gotta wait till your next turn to take stuff. And and just yes, out of that makes sense. Out of game. I'm gonna suggest you use i'm good like susie was gonna hand out the temp hp syringes because uh they they're not gonna bring people back for being unconscious but the potions will so it's more tactically sound yeah. to if you. you're still awake use the syringe cool no one bonk me please uh we have access to the uh to the map now for people to <laughs> look at how about that um, Merlin is going to move 5, 10, 15, and vanish. Merlin! <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, goes after Chesh's voice. That makes sense. Um, and just disappears through that portal, and we come back to the top of initiative with Susie. Alrighty, through, through, heading through. That's 10 feet of movement. Okay. Um, Two portals leading out of here. Merlin went this way. <laughs> uh, thank you. Um, do I see that you have a syringe of temp HP? Probably, yes. Y you, like yes, you can. a bundle in my arms. Yeah. <laughs> I suggest you use that before you come on through, but you hurry on up and come on through. Uh, <laughs> Ow. That actually hurts. <laughs> I went too hardcore. Anyway. I am going to uh, move as much as I can toward with my movement towards the red one and then hold an action to shoot if anyone comes in who's a baddie. If anyone oh, comes I in who's a baddie, you are holding an action to shoot. Uh, excellent. Beautiful. Um, next up is going to be this sea serpent again. Uh, Luga, out of the murk and the muck, uh, yeah. s swirling towards you is this ugly, ugly face now marred with a with a cut from your axe. Gonna make another attack against you. Here he comes. Fourteen. Nah. <laughs> um. Okay. Gets a gets a second attack. I'm going to use a constrict attack. That's cucked. That is a twenty-two. Okay, that'll do. Okay, that'll do it. So, what I am going to say uh, happens in this moment is this thing um, misses on its bite, but like wraps itself around you. Oh. Uh, and, but it, for consent. It, it do, this thing does not ask for consent. Very, very bad. bad. Uh, we no. don't like it at all. I thought it was just a natural being trying to defend itself or find food, but now it's bad. Now it's bad. Good thing is it rolled really badly yeah. on its damage. Um, 4d8 becomes 11 points of bludgeoning damage to you. Okay, I'll take that. And then, Josh, if you just roll me another 1d12 damage, please. So I'm going to make a reaction. <laughs> uh, I'm take and you my 11. open yourself to the attack, taking yeah. another 3 points of bludgeoning damage. Take another 3. And, then and I'm going to make an attack back. Amazing. I'm leading into this hug. I'm letting it pop a bone. So I could reach to my axe quicker and give him a <laughs> slash. <laughs> yes, go let's, for it. Let's rip this boy open. Uh, that'll be 21. 21 hits. Cool. Now we'll do it. Four. Now we'll do it. Uh, eight more damage. Eight more damage. Eight uh, more damage. You, uh, you cut into this thing even as your arms become pinned uh, at your sides as this thing swirls into with its own momentum into this portal and out the other side thrashing onto the oh, no. uh, onto the ice uh, and you guys all see that a yeah this serpent with an Aragiri warrior uh, 
sort of like hacking at it <laughs> from inside of its grasp ah! roils onto this uh onto this plane. Fifteen. <laughs> Fif Can you describe for me again what an erigiri looks like? Gorbin. Yes. Uh, <laughs> like Corbin. Um tall, uh very muscular, wide frame, strong build, uh pale. bald it's head. Handsome. I'm kidding. <laughs> uh pale in this pale. Uh, particular oh. instance. Uh no not a lot of sun up in the north. <laughs> it's very cold. Uh usually wearing like first, but I will let I will let you describe what Luga specifically looks like. But yes, that is the Aragiri thing. They're they're humanoid otherwise. Hmm. Um Yes, would you like to describe again uh, for us what Luga yeah, uh, looks like in this moment? So he's like you described, he's tall, he's pale. Um Where's my neat file I reference filter for myself? There we go. Yeah, he's not clean shaven. He's got a, a a massive hair pulled back into a sort of a, a long braid. Um, he's wearing a lot of furs over his shoulders and waist, and adorning his body are these tribal blue tattoos that are all over his skin. Oh shit. <laughs> Oh, that that's not good. That's he's got a tattoo. That means they're really badass. It means he's a death seeker. These guys are insane. I'll deal with you in a minute. <laughs> oh, see. no. Uh, that was a 15 to hit? Yeah. 15 does not hit. What at... about a 23? A 23 absolutely does hit. First Ooh, shot rings off of the sea serpent scales. Oh, good. Thank and goodness. second... Second is uh... Uh, are, is it is it the serpent you're aiming for? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shame. <laughs> we love it. PvP action. Oh, <laughs> oh, that die is gone. No, it's not. It's gone. It's not. Chase it. Oh. There you go. You were hiding it under your chair. <laughs> the DM's trying to sabotage it. Don't hurt my sea serpent. He's so nice, boy. That is 10 points of piercing damage. Oh. If I pass any immunities and resistances, sir. Oh my god. Um, yeah, you... I, I think it, as you take aim, um... You see that on top of this thing's head is a little penguin that's ineffectually but ferociously pecking at this thing. Aww. Um, at its head. Uh, and then you shoot and uh, put a hole, like, through the top of its jaw. Uh, and this thing screams. This thing is... Uh, it, when it makes sound, it sounds like it... It wasn't designed to be out in the air, so it is bizarrely shrill and, like, rings in your ears in a really, like, offensive, bad way. Lovely. <laughs> um, fantastic. Those are the reactions. That's the Sea Serpent's turn. And then, Luga, it is your turn. Now, you have been grappled um, by this thing, and you are treated as restrained. Okay. Okay. Well... Um, I shout, uh, and rage. <laughs> how do I, how do I lose this restraint? Uh, well, you are more than welcome to make a, an athletics or acrobatics check to try to escape as your action on your turn. Okay, yeah. Athletics, I'll make that, which is a strength check. So I believe I have advantage because I'm in rage. Uh, yeah. And you have it, yes, and you have advantage because you are you are raging. Okay, we come to strength check. What does it look like? What does your rage look like? Um, sort of very hasty movements. Sort of no no consideration for surroundings. It's like just zone in on um, the sort of what what he wants to achieve. Mm. And then everything else, apart from Luga Jr., everything else is just, he knows it's there, just doesn't care anymore. It's like, you've got to get this shit done. Um, that's a dirty 20. A dirty 20 was going to hit. 
Oh, sorry. This it's going to, to uh, it's a, the, it beats the escape save uh, DC. Uh, so you rage and just rip yourself out of this thing's grasp. Um, and a light nearby. Uh, and this thing sort of half-blindly thrashes around, sort of looking to kill anything around it. That's your action and your That's bonus action. action. And my bonus is to rage, is yes. To rage, yes. Yes. Girl. That is yes. <laughs> that is yes. That is yes. Um, and I'm also... Was it a free action to use my tattoo? Ooh, the first I... bit of it? I can't remember exactly what yes. that does. It's a free action. I can uh, I can imbue it. So Ooh. as I as I break myself free and uh, sort of step away, get a bit of space. You'll see Luger's tattoos start to glow, and then his he's wielding a large axe, and that will start to glow as well Ooh. with a, a chill a chill blue effect. Oh yes, that's right. Uh, beautiful. Uh, next up is going to be Gorbin. Uh, Gorbin's gonna be like, Uh, I don't know what I could do here. Uh, here, let me just, let me just put Jamie over here. And, uh, um, <laughs> I think Gorbin, I don't know if Gorbin can actually get to this serpent. I'm gonna say he's got a he's got a ten foot reach. Um Gorbin's going to just try to punch. Uh he's gonna to try to punch the snake. That is cut. Ow. That is I mean, not going to hit. Uh and yeah, so Gorbin sort of like throws a punch, which just absolutely does not uh hurt this thing at all. Um oh wait, he's got the super strength. Maybe he does hit. Yeah, he... Oh, I think he hits and does a bunch of damage, actually. I can't remember exactly what his strength is right now, but it's very, very high. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boom! Oh, this feels good. Wow. Yeah! I don't like it here, though. Uh, all around you, chaos is sort of... Uh, still... Like, all of these worlds are colliding and things are getting crazy. Um, Gorbin sort of, even as, like, that impact hits, uh, you see that multicolored, like, rainbow flickering through his veins. Uh, and Joker, you feel the same, that wild magic is resonating in this place. Um, and he is going to, as he punches there... Um, Oh. A rift in space appears where uh between Gorbin and this serpent, and you see near you this like orb leading somewhere else in uh in time and space uh now exists. Gorbin, do you know where this goes? I have no idea. I want to touch it. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Carry no. <laughs> um, we move to Pure Gook. Sir, Pure Gook, give me a wisdom saving throw if you would oh, be so kind. No. Oh no, I don't like the sound of that. Mm. Um, okay. DC 15. <laughs> no, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> um, what can I do? Oh, magical guidance. I'm gonna re-roll. <laughs> I need to spend a sorcerer point. Um, are you tides of chaos? You gonna or what do you? Oh, magical guidance. You're going to roll a d4. It says sorcerer point to re-roll, and I must use it. Oh, I, I see. Oh, I cool. It's in, then it's uh, a uh, optional. My my bad. Yes, go for it. <laughs> That's marginally better. Um, sixteen total. Six, sixteen Woo! passes. You feel a presence 
within this <laughs> within this portal um something otherworldly and deep and strong and it is calling to you it wishes for you to come to it you were able to resist the call before your eyes flickering uh for the briefest of moments you see a path leading to this portal <laughs> like the paths of the crossroads you dream of no. it is your turn what would you like to do is there a way i can make an educated guess at least to where what kind of realm it would go what kind of nature this is yeah do you want to give me an arcana check oh i'm not proficient in that thank fuck <laughs> 17 total. 17. Um, your, your best guess, you know that there are two, there, there are two gods you have not yet visited of the Saigalian ones. Um, the one that makes more sense for the location you're in is the ocean. Can I put my head in it? And nothing else. You put your head and uh, oh, no. vanish and are gone from this place. Oh, what a smudge. Uh, <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I like this? Hey, hey. You, you don't know until you try. Little chaos bean. Chaos bean. Oh, you died last time, guys. Porgy. Oh, no, no, don't call me that. What has happened? I actually, forgive me, I actually do need to get up a document that I uh, I don't have up right now. Oh. <laughs> My apologies. Josh, I've been through such whiplash today. Please. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I'm sorry. No, I deserve it. Hit me. Um... First thing that has to happen when you pass through this when you pass through this portal. Oh no. I'm gonna roll a d4. Mm-hmm. And that is the amount that the save DC is going to increase by oh, no. for an incursion from Derifel. Oh no. Last time we left off, it was at a 20. That's a one. It's the, the DC is 21. This is a charisma saving throw. Which you have proficiency oh. in. And you can choose to call Tides of Chaos now to get advantage if you would like to do that. Yes, I would. Okay. Tides of Chaos is active. Go ahead and roll charisma save with advantage. You need to beat a 21. Okay, the first one was a two. Okay. Um, so, <laughs> please, please, God, God, please don't. No, wait. I can't do anything else, can I? Wait, can I bend luck? You can bend luck if you've got the sorcery points. Because... My total is a dirty 20 on this. Oh, okay. And if you bend luck, you're guaranteed to beat it. Yes, that's what I mean. So yeah. I've used up all of my... I've used up two more sorcery points. Um, then... Was the add or subtract? I don't... Do I need to roll? You don't need to roll. No, no. Okay, cool. Minimum you can get is a one and one and meets it beats yeah. it. So you are good. Um, you sink through water, inky void around you, and you feel this pressure on your mind as Derafel attempts to enter your dreams. 
the void becomes outlined and takes the shape of that titanic figure for the briefest of moments and reaches his hand towards you and the distance increases and the perspective goes and he fades into the inky void <laughs> how do you do that with your hooves the cloven salute <laughs> um anyway now ordinarily being trapped underwater in the pitch black would be terrifying it's still terrifying however you find that you can breathe as the gills on your neck which appeared when you turned blue from a previous wild magic surge open <laughs> Uh, very, very important and useful in this moment. <laughs> because you can breathe underwater. <laughs> My luck sometimes. Fucking hell. It's um, been crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So, um, unless... Sorry, I'm just getting some water. Of course. Um, Unless there's any clear distinction on where I should be going, I'm just gonna vibe. You just vibe, and we will come back to you on your next turn. Okay. Uh, incre <laughs> incredible. Actually, can I still use the syringe? <laughs> you want you want to use the syringe? Yeah, yes, go for it. Uh, roll two d twelve. Two d twelve. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. One. I still it. D12s are the hardest to identify out of this lot. Yes. They're baby D20s is how I remember them. <laughs> They're the little siblings. Are you fucking kidding me? I rolled a four total. I rolled a one and a three. <laughs> Brutal. Four temporary hit points. Oh, okay. Anyway, carry on. Uh, carry on. no worries. Uh, next is Merlin's turn. There is a sound like shattering glass through that red portal. Um, and you guys see extending out into infinity like infinite reflections of himself. Uh, stands a tabaxi man uh, form radiating with polychromatic light uh, eyes ablaze uh, color swirling uh, as he beholds you all and with every motion it's almost like like all of these versions of Chesh are still images on a Rolodex that are moving, creating an animation of his form. Um, is not necessarily able to create words in this moment, but you just see this very, very odd, uh, kaleidoscopic, almost, view of Chesh. Susie, that is your turn. We've got, we've got a serpent there. <laughs> uh, Pyrgorgus just disappeared. <laughs> what would you like to do? Ah, fuck. She says aloud. <laughs> okay, um... Is are the Cheshires like physical? They look physical. All right. And has Merlin described Chesh to us? I think maybe yes in terms of looking, but for him. But I'm also not sure. I don't know that a physical. I don't know that a physical description has uh, been offered in this moment. I just know that something wiggy is happening. Yeah. Uh. Well, there. Hmm. Gorbin. Okay, two questions. One, the serpent. Yeah. 
No, I'm asking you. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I should have been clearer with that. Um, does it look like it can move well on land? It doesn't look like it can move well on land. It looks, um, it looks badly hurt and very upset and angry. And it looks like it is thrashing around and you guys are all just within reach. Okay. Um, I will... Bonus action crosshairs to gain advantage. Jeez. And sharpshooter. Nineteen to hit. Nineteen hits. Okay. <laughs> Roll that one. Three. <laughs> That's more like it. There you go. 18 points of damage. 18 points of damage. This thing is looking badly injured. Look, I'm dropping things. On death's door. Nice. Same thing again. Mm. That's not going to hit. Because it's just going to be... Yeah, that's just going to be 12. 12 does not hit. Alrighty. Yeah. Okay. And I, I can't move because I used crosshairs, so Got I it. did that. <laughs> That's the end of my turn. <laughs> sea serpent um, in a spasm near death's door is going to use a rhyme breath. Uh, so this is a 30 foot cone of cold. Cold. Um, I believe that's going to get Luga, Susie, and Gorbin. Mm -hmm. uh, so can I get all of you to make a constitution saving throw, if you'd be so kind? Ooh. Yeah. You can ask me anything. You can ask me to roll it. You can't ask me to make it. Ah. Does Corky have all of our healing potions? Yeah. Oh, let's say. Oh, that's what's eight plus six. Fourteen. Fourteen. Uh, Fourteen. Fourteen exactly passes. Uh, Susie, what you got? I got a six total. Great, and Gorbin also will fail this. Um. E so, <laughs> Susie and Gorbin are going to take 38 points of cold damage. Sheesh. Um, which I don't know if uh, Erigiri are resistant to cold. I think... I think... Uh, we are resistant to cold damage. So you're going to take half. Yeah. Uh, as is Gorbin. Uh, the... Uh, that is the only thing that keeps Gorbin from being killed outright uh, by this. Gorbin uh, immediately shrinks back down to normal size and is out for the count. As am I. As is Susie. Oof. There's a healer's kit on my body, but the <laughs> people here who would know that are unconscious. Oops. That's me. Josh, give me another D12 damage, please. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't... You, what damage did I take? You, Sorry, so you said 35 halved? 38 halved. Two. 15, 16, 17? 18? 19? 19. 19. 19. Plus a yes. D12. Plus a D12 is 9 points of cold damage. It's 19. It's 20. Half to 4. So the total is 23. 23, okay. <laughs> 23, sweet. What, what are your hit points at there? Um, God, let me get a calculator. <laughs> that doesn't sound good. Uh, we're at 56. Beautiful. And then so you get a counter blow. Make an attack. And I... I'm gonna... Yeah, I... can I choose to make this reckless? 
I'm making an yeah. attack. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can make this reckless. Get my advantage. That's um. It's a good thing I did it with advantage because I rolled a six and a twenty. Not twenty. Not twenty. Oh, Whoa. incredible! So that's, a, that's a crit. So <laughs> go ahead and tell me how you do this. This looks a death's door. Yeah. Um, I'm really angry and raging, so I'm going to. I'm going to slam the axe down through the wall, like top of the head into the to close his close its mouth after that breath, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to grab the body of the snake. Yep. Throw it through the portal. <laughs> the blue one. <laughs> throw it back. And then I'm just gonna like look down to, to Luca Jr. and smile. And then hold my hand to the portal, and <laughs> and you go through the same portal that your cure went through. Whoa, whoa, whoa! No, 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 no! No, no I'm calling my axe back because I, I, I left it in the snake. Oh, in you left it in the snake, and then yeah, and then I'm <laughs> God of War, calling, calling back my axe. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Yes. Uh, then we're gonna. Yeah, no, that, that was my reaction. That was, yeah, that was your reaction on the snake's turn. Uh, and then you go through the portal anyway. I see what you're doing. Snake, snake's dead. <laughs> um, yeah, this serpent just gets tossed through the cosmos back into the water. Um, brutal. Uh, beautiful God of War execution. And yeah. it is your turn. Um, cool. All these other cool. people who showed up were dead. Yeah. Very weak. Uh, I'm gonna relax, cool, cool down, come out of rage. So what has changed now? There's there's a there's a new portal that definitely wasn't here before. Yes. And is that a multicolored prismatic cat? It is a multicolored prismatic cat. That's interesting. Is that another outer gear on the floor? I is indeed. Would you like to investigate? Yes. <laughs> you go over and investigate. Something about this guy strikes a familiar bell in the back of your mind. Mm. You swear you recognize this guy, but you can't place where at this mm. particular moment. Go ahead and give me a, a history check. History. To try to remember. Yes. Okay. Uh, 16. Um, 16. Nope, not quite, not quite there. Can't place it. This guy there. needs to wake up so I can ask him. How do I wake him up? What's in his pockets? Does Gorvin have any healing potions or anything? I don't know. What, is, what has Gorbin got? He's a dude on the floor. <laughs> What's Gorbin got? Gor Gorbin, uh, the one thing that Gorbin has on his person is a ring on a chain around his neck. Is it, is it anything special? It looks pretty. To me, it looks pretty. It looks pretty. I have no care for wealth. Um, can I, like, give him a pat around the face? Wake up! <laughs> give me a medicine check with disadvantage. <laughs> yes. <laughs> ten or higher to stabilize Gorbin. <laughs> yeah. So, ten or higher? I got six. You got six? Great. You slap, you slap this guy. Uh, he looks like he's dying. <laughs> oh. Well, it's pretty normal. <laughs> I'll just like shout into his ear that he needs to come back. You need to come back soon. Um, other bodies on the floor. You see, uh, cowboy lady. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> What's in your pockets? Well, you said you have no interest in wealth. Uh, yes. I wouldn't be carrying all of this on me, though. But some gold. Yeah, some gold. Um, in my pockets. 
She's got like a wrist pad, wrist pad on her wrist. She's got uh, she's wearing a hunting knife. Um, yeah, a lot of this would be in the ship. All right, she has a scroll, which looks like it could be magical. A healer's kit, and a couple of syringes, and her her boots are mechanical or technological. There's something funky going on with them. Metal boots. Okay, um, I'm going to take the healer's kit, pick that up. This this looks like it should do what I want it to do, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then if if I can, I'd like to try and try and use it. Get Goban back up. Just take it off of Susie. Go over to the Aragiri. Fair enough. Um. Yes. Go ahead and roll a medicine check. Oh, I try to remember what a healer's kit does. Uh, I think it. There's ten uses and yeah. stabilizes. As an action, you can spend a use to stabilize a creature without needing to make a medicine check. Great. Oh. Uh, expend one use. And uh, this guy stabilizes, but does not become conscious. Did it, did it work? <laughs> There's no response as you stand in the cold. Um, <laughs> that is the end of your turn. Next up is uh, Gorbin, but Gorbin doesn't have to make death saves, which is very nice. Uh, Pyrgyork, we return to you in the inky void of the ocean. I do look around for an exit, see if, like, can, can I go back? <laughs> I've realised I've actually... This is really... Oh, no. Hello, little one. I'm not even asleep. Aren't you? what <laughs> don't make me have a metaphysical existential crisis Ex words hi big one hello and i'll do what i want pure georg If it pleases me for you to have an existential crisis, then that's what will happen. There is no source for this voice. It just enters into your mind and flows out again. So you are an Esmeran god then? Esmeran? No. No. Sigalian, I meant that. Sigalian, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> That's all right. I am Umberly, and Hi. mine is the domain of the ocean. Oh, really? I hadn't noticed. <laughs> the decor really made it vague, you know. Sorry, I'm being sarcastic when actually you seem like a really cool person. There's just silence around you. Oh, am I in trouble? <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why I'm in this weird mood. For some reason, I, I, have, I forgot I had gills and then suddenly I have them again. It's just really, ooh, this is just a fascinating situation. I thought I wasn't asleep and now I am and now I have gills and now I'm in water and there's voices in my head and how are you doing? <laughs> As I always have been. Which is... I want to make something clear. Pressure starts to build on your body. This Ooh. does not feel like a dream. You feel your ears painfully start to need to pop. Your skin, your muscles tense as the water constricts on your bones. 
the others feel the need to play nice with you because they're scared, because they want to survive. Don't you want to? I don't need you to do that, little one. Let me get this through your head. For those who have come before me have given you the wrong impression. I am a goddess. I am the one who is owed, not the other way around. I never said otherwise. So you would ask nothing of me? No. You would be content to face the threat at the edge of your mind without me? Humbly, I didn't ask for any of this to happen. I come into this situation with no expectations. Why, did, why am I here? This is not what I expected from you. What did you expect? Like all surface dwellers, I expected you to take and expect not to give in return. I expected you to fear your birthplace. To fear that whimsy that is your mother, the place, the person, the goddess who taught you how to survive for yourselves. And like most surface dwellers, I expected you to crawl away ungrateful for the gifts I gave, to despise the dark and the cold and the deep. Most pray to me that I don't destroy them at my will, my whim. I've already had everything I love taken away from me. That's all the despair I need in this lifetime. You say you don't need me. Maybe I don't need you. So why don't we treat each other? You may be a goddess and I may be a surface dweller, but why don't we have a frank conversation? We have a common enemy here, don't we? didn't think I would. This journey you've been on has taught you something. You and I can talk. You speak of Derafel. What makes you think he's my enemy? It's you he wants. You think he isn't a threat to you? I think he's Genuinely. a threat to I think he's a threat to anyone. He turns his mind towards. But do I fear for myself? That all depends. On him. I am not so foolish as Melora was to reach blindly. She deserved what came to her. Pathetic end for a pathetic goddess. Isn't it quite cruel of you to say? 
Why does anyone deserve death? Why does anyone deserve life? But she deserved death because she was a bitch who was trying to muscle in on my domain. I'm the nature goddess. <laughs> I thought you were the ocean. I am the ocean. All nature starts in the ocean. Okay, I see your point. <laughs> Rah! And there's just like riptides just kind of like whip you around and for a minute you can't breathe even with your gills. <laughs> Great. You take four points of damage. Cool. <laughs> Your temp HP is gone. <laughs> I, te I took four. Four. Okay, yeah, my temp HP is gone. Uh, yes, thunder rolls under the waves, uh, and the pressure builds for a moment before subsiding. So, your initial statement is proven false. We do not necessarily have a common enemy. For now. For now. Is there anything else you would speak to me of? Genuine question, did you request me here? The path is open, usually has only been open when you are asleep, and but I was not. the veil has been torn, and you are here in reality, here in the dreaming, here in my realm. Okay. I feel there's nothing more productive of me to say. Then, this is farewell, little one. It was. I'm actually six foot. I'm actually not. No. <laughs> <laughs> By surface well standards, I'm you take eight more damage. Shit. Ah. <laughs> uh, and it hurts like hell, but there's, there's a little bit, there's a little bit of a soft chuckle, uh, afterwards, and you rise up. I'll be there when Darafel comes. We may never meet again, but it has been fun. Pure Georg Jimothy Ursweb. And you resurface, and that portal is gone. You have met Umberly. I have. <laughs> <laughs> Why, in these godly encounters, do I come out of these alive? <laughs> Are you okay? Are you? <laughs> <What>? <laughs> oh, you have three hit points. No, I'm not okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't know what I don't know what gets into me every time I encounter these kinds of gods. I'm just like, no, nah, fuck this. <laughs> the genuine back. the genuine answer to your question um is that most of these gods need you to be alive for their own survival. <laughs> and Arbelie was oh, like, just, oh you thought didn't, just didn't want to admit it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you I? see Susie is down, Gorbin is uh, unconscious, Luga is uh, tending to uh, his wounds, and rippling with chaos magic, suddenly able to find his voice. <gasps> I've seen something. I don't have much time flickering images for Tabaxi. They're sealing me away. There's someone out there trying to break the rules. You have to stop him. You have to stop Jarfell. 
Oh my god, I already know this. I can't help you. I losing the reflections start to flicker and collapse in on themselves. Good you work, have... Jack, I sorry. Um, and all of the reflections of Chesh, Chesh collapse into one form, who is sucked back through this uh, red portal, and is something shakes. All of the chaos around you ripples and undulates. Cracks start to appear. A good person. Cacrian, but yes. Uh, bless you. This is... <laughs> this is my home. I live here. <laughs> you... You don't live here. No. No. You came through one the of portal, these? yes. Mm. The ones that are closing? Yes. So you want to stay in cold, or...? Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Susie, can I get a death save, please? Yes, you may. That's an 18, I pop back up. Boom! Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, you don't need to worry about her, she's... <sighs> no, we do that too, but I didn't think... The cowboy would. What were you doing? Be me? Yeah. What, being unconscious. Well, yes, but. What were what you, you doing see? fighting if? Miss Keisha. Miss Keisha. <laughs> oh, she fucking dead. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what did Corrigan show you? Pardon. Pardon you, me? You came back. What did you... What, what vision did you receive? No different thing. No, same thing. I do that. Uh, I didn't see anything this time, but I think oh. it was just a, I had a little bump on the head. Yes, yeah, not death. Yeah. Oh. You come back from the death? I try. All right. Um... I go, do I, like, see that Gorbin is stabilized? Stabilized, but unconscious, I used, yes. I used this thing that was in your belongings. You can have back? Thank you. Um, Porgy, you took all our, you, you have all our healing potions, and, and you were gone. So, uh, can you, can I have one to give to Gorbin, please? Oh, sorry. Porgy, um, can I have a healing potion? To give to Gorbin, please? Yes. <laughs> you can take one as a free action. All you right. can you can then receive I'll... receive a potion as a yeah. yeah. Then I'll I'll give to Gorbin. As an action and as Why a bonus. Are we still an initiative. Why does that make me uncomfortable? <laughs> <laughs> and as a bonus action I'll use a syringe of temp HP on myself. Uh beautiful. Go ahead, roll two D twelve. If Gorbin comes back up, I don't know how much Gorbin uh, gets. Let's say nine hit points back. Oh, wow. Oh, oh I'm not big anymore. Thank you. Oh, please appreciate that. No problem. Um. Merlin went through here, this way, but... Y'all are injured. You want to I stay a while? very close to dying. Aren't we all, love? Um, no. No, I'm okay. So is Luga <laughs> Jr. <laughs> well, our, our friend went this way, so we're gonna, we're gonna head this way, I think. Okay. You seem to not care about body. Which one? The one you came with. Oh, oh shit, just... I should grab that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, Corbin. No problem. Yeah, the other one is mine. 
Okay, all right. Wondering what was that was about. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and say, everybody, if we could all just while well, we're as uh, hurt as we are from this point forward, only touch portals that we all decide to go through. So I feel like this is a subtweet about me. <laughs> it could, it, you know, anyone, I touched, anyone I touched could the blue do one, it. Yeah. But you, you weren't here for me to ask. That's, that's fine. From the, just going forward, this doesn't mean anything about the past. It's just no judgment. It's Susie, just... I wasn't planning on going through it. I just wanted to pop my head in and then Okay, just... don't touch. Just don't touch. Remember last time you touched an orb? Bad. It, w it went not well. Susie. The wound is still raw. Can you not rub it in, please? You know what? I don't know <laughs> how raw it was. Salt. You, I don't know how raw it was because because <laughs> you just went through. Anyway, but I wasn't uh, touching. I was looking. <laughs> put your hand in. You put your whole hand in. <laughs> I'm trying to keep y'all alive, please. <laughs> Call me out, Susie. Call me out. <laughs> this, you know, I'll, I'll hold off on. I won't call you out unless it happens again. All right, folks, are we are we gonna head through after Berlin? Or are we gonna hang here? I have question. Or do we have your permission? <laughs> This is a democracy. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question. Yes? What is a Merlin? Our friend. Little winged but friend. But sometimes not. But sometimes not. Sometimes blobby and I-E. You learn to just roll with it. There don't seem to be very many rules with these people around. Yeah. Okay. And who was the Rainbow Catman? Oh, you didn't see? You were dead. There was a Rainbow Catman? That was Chesh. Or oh, like a projection of Chesh. What, the game? Chesh? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, Chesh is Me and Luga Jr. play sometimes. Chesh? Chesh. Yes, yes, I'm person. saying that's what I'm saying. Chess. Will you shut the fuck up and let me talk? <laughs> that is very rude. Uh, I do apologize. This what's is your, my what's, home. What's your name? What's your name? Oh, thank you for asking. Sorry, a lot's been going on. What's your name, hon? My name is Luga Truth Seeker Ganu Malak. Alrighty, do you want me to call you the whole thing, or is there a part of that you'd like? I'm happy with either. Which which can you say? Luga and Truth Seeker. Because Luga and I... is okay, but Luga is also Mabel of Penguin. Meh. Truth Seeker? That sounds... Luga Truth. Or Luga is... Did you... Well, that's just half-assed. Are you both... Are you... I'm Luga. This is Luga Junior. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna call you that. Thank you. Um, yeah, I do apologize, Luga yes, and Luga Junior. Uh, just a lot's been going on. People are a little on edge. I just met a sea god. Yes. Oh, nice. We'll recap later. Yeah. Um, Anyway, Chesh, spelt C-H-E-S-H, -E is a friend of our friend Merlin, who we're trying to find. Well, they went that way, you said that. Well, Chesh isn't that way, Merlin went that way. Yes. So, let's go through the red portal, or did we all vote on it? We can... Gorbin, do you want to go through the... Like, I... <laughs> We're going. Are we going through the red portal? I have more questions. <laughs> you you want to yes. come with us? You seem able in a fight. The one you call Gorbin. Why is he now small? The giant he's... thing was a temporary thing. I am also wild magic. 
Um, as Gorbin begins to explain, I'm gonna say enough time has passed. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> that. Give me one sec. No. No. I'm not looking at the screen. Mm -hmm. He's doing stuff, super stuff. Let Ripping, me know. uh, his way through, uh, you can see that there are, like, multiple other portals, like, that are inaccessible to you that have been, like, opening and closing and dividing and, uh, melding and revolving around you all of this time. Uh, ripping out of one, uh, in, locked in furious combat are Hellebore and Gnolfer Okadai oh. Supriyanus. Both look horrifically injured. Um, and the, uh, Splicer takes a, uh, stab wound through the chest. Uh, one of, uh, its arms is sliced off, uh, uses its, uh, one of its remaining arms to grab Hellebore and, uh, spins, chucks him through a different, uh, portal and Hellebore vanishes. Uh, Gunolfer crash lands uh, in the ice bleeding and broken and you see stands up uh, the tail has uh, been cut in half um, the shell on his back is shorn in two and is being wielded like a shield in one of its two remaining hands and he in his other hand has one uh silver longsword the remaining arms have all been cut off there are vicious wounds across his body and on his back uh sticking out queasily are mechanical syringes and wires and tubes that all feed back in and around to various pouches on his body um, and you can see what was hiding under the shell is a lattice work of cybernetics oh. um, is this a is this is this guy with you no no he's bad he's bad he's bad it's, it's my favorite my favorite guy um in this and the same instant uh gorbin Goes, yeah, I've got wild magic. Um, accidentally becomes a conductor for pure energy, like lightning comes out of a dimension, flows through him, and shoots straight at this guy, hitting him for 24 points of lightning damage. As lightning crackles around you and these dimensions begin to fracture and these portals begin to tremble so they may break. Susie, that is your turn. Alrighty. <laughs> um... I see it seeing the uh uh cybernetics. Yes. <laughs> can I get here can Gnolfer make a can Gnolfer Ogadias Cyprianus? Cyprianus, yes. Thank you. But you can't say Luca Trufsuka. I can't even say it. <laughs> <laughs> Luca will do. That was that was beautifully karmic. <laughs> Say Luga Truth Seekers, just um, just you know. no. I've changed it. No, it's, it's Truth Seeker. Just Ganolfer Ogadaya. We should play a game with It's just Ganolfer Ogadaya Cyprianus gets all huffy if you don't say his full name. <laughs> um, he does. He does get huffy about that. Can does can he, he make a um? Mm, do I want to do that? Yes. Can he make a dex save for me, please? Dexterity saving throw. Mm. Oh, that's a 22. Uh, okay, so he'll take half of this, but it's lightning damage, if that makes a difference. Uh, rolled shit. Seven points of lightning damage halved and then i will say yeah gone back up uh so that's going to be seven points of damage 
Okay, and then bonus action. I'm gonna get within five feet of him. Mm -hmm. uh, and I am going to attack him with my hunting knife. And I am going to go to, like, get in the cybernetics. And try and, like, slash, like, yeah. punch into some pouches, slash some cables. Yeah, go for it. 16. Uh, 16's not going to no. do it. Brings up this, like, half-shell shield. <laughs> I am not done yet. Points one, a sword at Pure Bjorg. You're mine! Um. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, lair action is gonna go. No. Uh, uh, the lair action goes, uh, this blue portal, uh, shifts and, uh, changes and no longer goes where it used to go. It goes somewhere different. Bye. Um, and this one down here... We will say this one is inactive. So every every initiative every uh layer action, one portal becomes totally inactive and another one goes to a different place. Oh no. Yep. Uh Luga, that is your turn. Oh yeah. Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um Okay, that's rage. Gotta mark that down. That's my Second of the day. My bonus. Uh let's run up in up in there. Yeah, go Just for it. Get up in close. Um let's spend a charge. Hell yes. For free. So let's I got I got I got four of those left, four charges. We're glowing, we're we're focused. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll just read the second line. Oh, I didn't need to. I won't spend that charge yet. I will it. use it, but I'm not doing the first bit because I don't need to. I'm close enough. Yeah, of course. Uh, we're going to attack. Uh, yeah, go for it. Recklessly. <laughs> for advantage. <laughs> oh, this is good. It's a good <laughs> idea to do. Um, it's a 15 and a 12, so... 22? 22 would hit. Uh, on this first one, gonna use a reaction to parry that. Adding 5, uh, getting his AC up to 23, but only for that hit. God damn, so we'll just... He's like, ba -ching! It'll go in again. Yeah, exactly, just deflects with a sword. I don't have a quarrel with you. Glee. Death well, seeker. No. I want a quarrel with you, but not this time. That's I rolled a five and a six, so that's only thirteen. Thirteen's not going to do no. it. No. <laughs> oh, no. Brings right. shield up and just bashes, getting a little bit of distance. Yeah. Your people are irrelevant. One that's very rude. Um, and is going to go ahead and uh, just make a charge for it. Is going to go. That's to make... that's. I would like. I would like to. Yeah. Opportunity. Yeah. Both of you guys get attack attacks of opportunity on this guy. <laughs> he chose not to, so I'm going to recklessly opportunity. Can I can I use reckless on that? You can. Yes. If you, yeah. I believe the way it works. I've had a lot of the look at it. Is that. Uh, you can reckless when you use the attack action on your turn, and it lasts until your next turn. Okay. Yeah. Folks, I didn't. Oopsie. I want to delete that. <laughs> <laughs> That's all good. This uh, d ten, so seventeen. I got you, fam. Thanks, fam. Seventeen. Twenty-five. Seventeen does not do it. Just barely. You're getting used to this foe. This is a weird anatomy hmm. uh, on this guy. 25 does do it. That is 
Nine. Nine damage to this guy. Uh, yeah, you sever uh, some tubing in the back uh, as he rushes past you. Um, and is going to attack our favorite goat boy. No. Yeah. Shield. I shield. You shield? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait to call shield because he might miss. He probably won't, but he might, and then you can save a spell slot. Cool, yeah. Oh, that's... You're, gonna, you're gonna need it. <laughs> what does your shield get you to? Gets me to an eighteen. That's still going to hit you, but I need you to roll for a uh, wild magic surge. No. Now I don't oh. remember what the count was on this. It was three. Okay. Roll two. I rolled an eleven. <laughs> you rolled an 11. Alright. You do not wild magic surge in this moment. Um, this bite is going to... Well, I'm going to be unconscious, aren't I? I have three hit points. Hit you. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, that is going to bring you down. That's 13 points of damage. That's just rude. Chomp. Um, and and is also going after Gorbin in this moment as well. So it's going to make an attack on Gorbin. What is it about Tagrians? Just wild magic. Just uh, fucking rude and prejudiced and <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is actually only 10, which is much better. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Gorbin is up with one hit point Ooh. after the longsword attack. That's um, an Argyri fighter right there. <laughs> uh, and then he looks at you. And you look at him. And you know who this guy was. Wait a fucking minute. Wait a fucking minute. You this asshole! This <laughs> fucking dick. Yeah, I fucking hate this guy. <laughs> Oh my um, god. Bludgeoning tail attack comes in and uh, knocks him unconscious. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> you fucking dick. Um, both Gorbin and Pure Georg are down. Porgy, can I get a death save from you, please? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's an 11. Excellent. An 11. And so did Gor or Gorbin also got that. So you both have a success. Okay. Oh, I didn't ask you. Um, when you cast shield, I did not ask you whether you wanted to auto wild magic search to get your tides of chaos back. <sighs> no. Lovely. Uh, just thought I would ask. It's uh, fine. I just don't want to die again. <laughs> um, we move to Susie's turn. All righty. Keep mm. cutting cables. It seems to piss it off. <sighs> Leave well enough alone. Not happening. Pistol shot. Yep. Oh, nineteen. 19 does hit. Um, going to use reaction to parry and like basically the sword comes up and parries the bullet. Yeah. <laughs> that should Ooh, not be that's possible. Not, that's not gonna hit. That's a 14. Does not hit. And then Ugh. I'll go in with my hunting knife. 19. 19 does hit. Does not have a reaction left. You see, this thing is fast, uh, Luga. Oh, God. It's, it's reacting on everybody's turn. Yeah. <laughs> nine. Another nine. You are chipping away uh, at this guy's health. The, where this guy started was truly out of reach yeah. for you guys. This was, this was not a winnable fight at full strength. Bloodied and incredibly injured as he is. You can see, you're starting to do real damage. Not affected functionality yet, but it's it looking messed up. It's looking quite hurt. Mm. I wouldn't know. 
Wouldn't know. Luca, that's you. Okay. <laughs> We're going to move around. Move, move around the body. Move around the body. I just as I look at it, I want to see, has it been pilfered with? That's not how it left it, is it? <laughs> where's his where's his cool stuff that I saw he had? <laughs> Who's been here while I've been gone? <laughs> <laughs> and um then I would like to swing at this dude. Of course. Recklessly. Recklessly. It's the only it's the only way. Um <laughs> that's a twenty and a two, so twenty-seven. 27 um goes to bring the shield around and you get in under that shield uh has used a reaction yeah go for it too fast it's a crit by the way a 20 and a two oh Oh, my gosh yeah goes to bring the shield around to get that distance from you again and you knock it out of the way um right so (laughs) the you so you have crit here i have crit here so that's 12 on the dice, and then a, a d12. Yep. Um, I get an extra d12 plus 8, and I'm going to spend a charge to oh add 2d6 and freeze him. Barbarians Sorry, 2d4. Okay, so, so the extra d12 that you get is also doubled. <laughs> so... so so twenty four plus roll a d twelve plus whatever the other stuff was. No, uh, it's twenty four. You, you add two d four to this as well. So, uh, twenty four plus eight is thirty two. Yeah. And now then should roll, I roll a d twelve? You, I think if you you're saying you're rolling two d twelves, is that right? Yes. So when when I hit with a reckless attack, I get to add a d twelve of damage. Yes. So my attacks are normally one d twelve. Um, so 32 plus uh, 8, you had said. So mm-hmm. this is going to be 40, uh, plus whatever you roll on, 2d12 and 2d4. Oh my god. 2d4 as well. <laughs> right, nice. the 2d12 <laughs> is a 5 and an 8. So 13. Plus 13. 3, plus 16. 2. 18. Uh, so it'd be 58 points eight, of damage. 50, 58 points of damage. Yeah. Oh then my he god. Needs to make a um DC fifteen saving throw. Uh what kind of save? Uh strength. Strength. Okay. Natural uh, twenty. He makes it. That's okay. Uh you see he is staggered by mm-hmm. that that was a tremendous you open a new gash all the way down his chest blood comes out um several syringes kick in fluid throw through his body and just stop the bleeding but he can't close that wound no let me help you with that and i hit him again <laughs> go for it it's already used a reaction um 17 so that's 24 24 will hit yes yes so this is just there's no there's no crazy stuff to this this is just 2d12 plus 8 <laughs> which no is just that's <laughs> um 10 <laughs> out of 9 on the dice so 19 27 27 damage oh my god um Ganolfer Ogadai Supriannus stumbles and takes a knee, um, unable to support his own weight, uh, coughs up blood, uh, has no eyes, but that, like, panting breath, head, uh, sort of just, like, leans upward. Yeah, looking, looking on death's door. Well, this is not all you have. Huh? You looked so big and scary when you came in. I thought, you okay, that? I will attack this man. Give me a fight. Uh-huh. Telling me I am of no concern. Fight me. <laughs> it, look, it's it's better that he fights Luga than tries me. to. He's got multi attack. <laughs> like, yeah. He will he will kill you in two hits. Mm-hmm. Like outright kill you in two hits. So. And Luca has lots of hit points. Lair action. 
this portal goes somewhere different now, and this portal is closed. The red portal dies, and the way is oh. blocked. Um, that's going to be Gnolfer's turn. Um, Gnolfer snarls uh, at Luga and Susie. <laughs> um, incredible. Um, yeah, gonna 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 make attacks for sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, uh, the doy. Uh, let's uh, and it's attacking Luga, I believe, with advantage. Yeah, yeah, this is with advantage. Um, goes in, and yeah, it's just gonna just gonna do a bite attack. Oh, that's nope. Come on, that's better. Uh, twenty five to hit. Uh huh. Uh huh. That is 1d12 plus 5 is 9 points of piercing damage, which we have to 4 for your rage. Mm -hmm. uh, long sword attack. Reaction! Can I put that in between or at the end? Because I'm adding damage to the attack. Yes, you are adding damage to the attack. Mm hmm so instead of nine, uh, it's thirteen. So half to six. Okay. Uh, points of damage to you. What does that put you at? Fifty. Uh, healthy fifty. And you use your reaction to attack back. Yes, I do. Uh, fantastic. Go ahead and roll those attacks. Uh oh. That attack, rather. Nineteen on the dice. So twenty-six. Twenty-six. 26. God damn it. Um, I know, right? What the way? Smug. God damn it. This is... Gnolfer's gonna use his reaction. Cool. Yeah. To splice Irie. Um, what is that? What the fuck is that indeed? Uh, so, what you see is Quick as a whistle, you you come in for the counterattack. He see, sees that you opened yourself up and are uh, coming in for a counter blow. <sighs> Takes a uh, syringe, opaque, can't see what's inside, into his open wound. Um, pops that down, uh, and you see your hit comes uh, for this thing splits him in half with no resistance at all and you see that your uh, that the two halves undulate and wobble and then uh, smoosh back together again uh, as his whole form uh becomes amorphous, melts, all of the wounds disappear as he just becomes a blob of moving parts. Um, still has the uh, appearance of a head, but the rest of the limbs sort of undulate and uh, retreat back in. The shell shield drops. Um, and there's like a slithering under it, and it's like um, pulled along, um, and yeah, it this very bizarre thing, and the voice sort of comes from it and says, "I am Iri Ganulfer Ogadai. I will see you next time." Uh, without provoking opportunity attacks this ooze uh slithers through uh this portal over here and vanishes what the hell 
Uh, and Iri Ganolfer Ogadai leaves the fight. And I will say we will stay in initiative just long enough for people to get back up again. Uh, Gorbin's going to make a death save. Uh, Porgy, can you make a death save as well? That's another success. 17. Another success on both counts. Um, Susie. Uh, I'm going to go over to Porgy and use the healer's kit. Oh, sorry. We also have the lair stuff going on. Yes, oh. there is other stuff to do here. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> my apologies. Yes. Uh, you go over and use the healer's kit. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, so Porgy is stabilized, but still unconscious. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then I call over to uh, Luga uh, say, um, I, I like hand the pack back as I'm finishing up using the healer's kit on Porgy and say, get Gorbin up. Why? Please. Okay, because you asked nicely. God damn it. That <laughs> piece of shit comes back into my life in my own fucking home. Oh, Jesus. You know, yeah, I'll, I'll go over begrudgingly. Oh, it's clicked now. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> um, these guys are stable. However, uh, no. no, the portal back to Darun Fett. Mm hmm. Uh, is there one that I haven't used yet? I mean, I've already used that one. We're using this one. That shifts and changes this portal over here. No. Nope. Locks. So those portals uh, have shifted, and you can see these realms begin to close to one another as slowly, slowly this magic is ebbing away. And you don't have an obvious way back anymore. You don't know where these portals lead. Um, <laughs> Corbin and Port York are uh, down. Susie, that's you. Yeah, so I stabilize. Yep. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, can I... Because I'm familiar with Aragiri being from Rayara, so... Mm -hmm. You've said this is your home. Are we on Rayara? Yes. Yes, this is Tundra. Uh, the the blue portal did go to the sea, but uh, that is closed now. All right. Um, Susie is going to wait and see if a portal she recognizes appears again. But otherwise, she is going to just just guard these guard her friends um because she thinks that they may have to um they may have to w make their way towards um see if maybe they can get in contact with the air Zulai or something to get help for uh the wild folks folly and to get back to yeah um uh, piano shrimp Cool beans. So, Susie, that is. You are just. You're just gonna wait. Yeah. Okay, Lugo. Is there anything you would like to do? Um, Gorbin and Porgy are both unconscious. Yes, but not okay. dying. No. You can carry this one, <laughs> cowboy. And I point to Gorbin. Can I? How big is Gorbin? <laughs> Uh, Corbin. Corbin's a big guy. Yeah. Uh, I have a strength of 12. It would be an athletics check to move him. Okay. And there is still body back there. <laughs> well, I can carry... You even snow? I can carry Jamie. A smaller <laughs> one. I can try with the others, but it's unlikely. I'll give it a go. I'll give it a what go. Is just, what are we doing? Oh, I, I'm waiting. You staying to... here? I'm waiting till they wake right up. Hour? I'm t I'm waiting till they wake up, and then and then I would like to get off of Rayara, but I'm not taking What's any wrong of with this. Rayara? Well, it's just I left my ship on another planet. You have a ship? 
I do. Like sailing? No, I'm afraid it's a spaceship, so it's not quite the same. But I, 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 I have enjoyed well, some oh, time on the seas. All ships have space. It's how you stand on them. It, what it, do you mean? It sails through the sea of the sky. Where is, where is, which sea is that? Next to Northern? You know when you look up into the air rather than... look. Okay, look at the ice. Yeah. Okay, so you're looking down. Now look in the opposite direction. Yes, I know what sky is. Yeah, up there, where the stars are. You've lost me. I go between planets. Like this, but a lot less chaotic. This is new to me. This, what is happening? <laughs> me too. Okay, because they said when you were unconscious, this happens all the time to you. Oh, dying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Going unconscious yeah. and dying. That, yeah, no, but this... Yeah, but that's uh... normal to me as well. And so you're not going to stay? I mean... I can take you back to the camp. Well, we could all say hello. That would be great. Can I run an insight check on if he's gonna, like, enslave us or something? <laughs> yeah, go for it. Thank you. <laughs> Kira, this will be up to you. 13. Just a little baby 13. Um, hey, what do you think? What do you think Susie gets on that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the thought hasn't crossed his mind so you get the thought hasn't you don't see it in, in his eyes you don't he isn't thinking about that okay okay <laughs> uh, we'll see we'll see we'll see um can can you guarantee our safety there can well i mean is home you can, I mean, maybe I was fighting a big cat, and then um, there was this man as well. But, I mean, you fought the turtle at the snake. But, okay, so you think, you think it'll I mean, be... I, I'm not, are you saying that I would attack you? No, not you, I just don't know if anyone one else... Look, I've had, I've spent some time on Rayara. I I spent some time on Rayara. Yeah, me too. Evidently. You two continue to chat as the chaos subsides and dies around you. The last portals close. Um, without you going near them, they do not change into anything you recognize. Um, and you are on the tundra of Kralioa on Rayara. Deep, deep, deep in an unconscious slumber. Orgy, you stand at the crossroads. What? Yeah. And the last roll we will make. <laughs> I'm adding oh. three. So, so 24? it's a 24 charisma saving throw. You do not have Tides of Chaos here. You do, To the best of my knowledge, you don't have sorcery points. Yeah, no. I have one left. Okay. So I could magical guidance it, but... Go ahead and roll your charisma saving throw. So the minimum I need to roll is 17. <laughs> See what you get. Magical guidance. Final sorcery point. Do it. Oh my God. That was an eight. I roll an eight for, for, for viewers at home. Lovely. Oh fuck. No. Oh shit. <laughs> that roll. Well, um floor roll doesn't count. Thank you. <laughs> floor roll doesn't count. You gotta roll it in the tray. There fell. Well, that was there a four. So... <laughs> and we will leave this session as the crossroads are swept away like drawings made of colored sand swept by a broom.
and the breeze found you at long last. And that's where we're called tonight's session. <laughs> it's a long time coming. <laughs> it's been a long time coming. Uh, folks, that's all for this one. Tune in next time, and we'll do oh. some other crazy shit with some level 20 characters. Bye-bye! Bye-bye!